So let's have a look at some network forensics. So in the first example we'll have a look at uh, simple web access. So in this case we have uh, a client here and a server at this address. So we can see here that port 80 is the port that we're using and the client is using this port to communicate. So you can see that the communication happens over those two ports. So the first thing that happens is that the the client in this case, which is at 75.1 here, wants to find out the MAC address of the server in this case, so the server is local on the network. So the client sends out option 1, which is our, an ARP request for that IP address, and then that IP address if it exists, re responds back with its MAC address to only to the the client which actually requested it. Once it has both the IP address and the MAC address, it can then communicate. So we see here that it sends a SYN from 2427 to port 80. It defines its sequence number for the data segments. And we see zero because it doesn't know what the actual sequence is on the on the other side. Then the server responds back with a SYNAC uh, to that port, to the, the client, and acknowledges the receipt of the data. So in this case, uh, this defines what the next sequence number that it expects to see. So in this case, it expects to see 74 next and we'll see that that's what actually happens for the next data segment that's sent from the client. It also defines that this is its own the server sequence number and can see there on the other side that that has been acknowledged and the client is telling the server what it expects to see next so it's acknowledging all the data segments up to that value. So we have the SYN, SYNAC and ACK is a three-way handshake uh, either side can obviously push for acknowledgement of data so in this case the client has pushed uh, data to the a, a TCP segment to the server to ask for it to acknowledge the data so after that we get an ACK coming back and this is where the data flow actually happens from here if we want to see the detail then we can see here that the, the TCP segment here is doing a get and it's doing a get from the home page of the server the server then, then responds back with uh, an HTTP a request reply. And we can see here that it's saying that the, it's OK and then we'll actually pass the web page back to it. And obviously the we can only send a certain size of, uh, of TCP segment, typically only about 1500 bytes. So it will be sent as a number of TCP sequences, segments and we can see here this this identifies the segment number uh, from from there so eventually that's the whole page sent there and this is it uh, asking for the CSS file associated with the web page I can see that that is CSS that's been received now quite a lengthy CSS file And that's the end. So the the last thing is that the the client acknowledges all the TCP segments which were sent or up to a certain value. In this case it's it's acknowledging everything up to this value here. So it 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 acknowledges a whole lot of the TCP segments. So that shows a very basic uh, outline of uh, of the client server uh, web page access.